that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. This is number one. Number two, iqamu salah. Iqamu salah. Can you believe, brothers and sisters, that these five obligatory prayers before it become five, the obligation was 50, five zero. Imagine, just close your eyes for a while and imagine if it remains 50, what we would do? If it remains 50 prayer every 24 hours and if you pray 49 and you left one, you will never be a Muslim. If it remains like this, what we would do? By the shafa'ah of the Prophet وسلم, during his holy journey to the seventh heaven, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them five in the actions and 50 in the rewards. Look at the mercy of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to his Ummah and look at the mercy and the love of Allah to his best Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Allah made them five only in the fact and 50 prayers in the Ajr, in the rewards. <coughs> the panel number three to fast the month of Ramadan. Unless if you're traveling or if, you have, or if you have sickness, then you can make up these days later <coughs> after Ramadan. What is the meaning? Why the Prophet ﷺ tells us that if you leave the prayer, you're not Muslim. The Prophet ﷺ said, بَيْنَ الرَّجُلْ وَبَيْنَ الشِّرْكِ وَالْكُفْرِ if there is a bridge between you and the disbelief, this bridge is just to leave your prayers. If you leave your prayers, you pass the bridge from the Imam to the Kufr. If you just leave, he didn't say, if you disbelieve in the Salah, no, he said, if you leave, he didn't say, if you disbelieve. He said, if you leave, tarku. He said, tarku. He didn't say, jahdu. He said, tarku. Bayna rajuli wa bayna shirki wal kufr. Tarku as salah. To leave the prayers. Then, you pass to the other side, the kufr, the disbelief side. Amazing warning, amazing warning from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you just leave your five prayers a day, you're not Muslim anymore. It's very dangerous, very, very dangerous. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam informed us in the very authentic hadith that the first question that Allah is going to question you between his hand on the day of judgment when you will be naked between the hands of Allah, your prayers. If you pass, you will pass in the others. If you fail, you failed in the others. أول ما يسأل عنه العبد يوم القيامة صلاته فإن صلحت صلح سائر عمله وإن فسدت فسد سائر عمله Unfortunately, nowadays we listen to amazing descriptions of thousands of Muslims among our Ummah saying, I'm Muslim, but I don't practice. 
I'm Muslim, but I don't pray. Oh, yes, I don't fast Ramadan, but I'm still Muslim. No way. Thalathun. Ura al-Islami wa qawaidu al-Dini thalathatun. These three panels, especially these three panels, if you leave one, even if you fulfill two, but you leave one, Consider yourself in different religion. It's very obvious from the mouth of the Prophet Muhammad by the revelations of the Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rua al-Islam wa qawaid al-Din thalathatun alayhinna usis al-Islam man taraka wahidatan minhun fahuwa biha kafirun halal al-Dam Brothers and sisters, yes, the truth hurts. You have to listen to this. It is not permissible for a Muslim sister to remain as wife for a husband who does not pray. It is not permissible for a Muslim husband to keep his wife if she does not pray. Cannot be husband and wife and one party does not pray. It's invalid marriage. We have to repent, we have to correct, or we have to separate. What about if both do not pray. Dilemma. Huge dilemma. The house is the house of the shaitan. The house is the house of the devils. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, it's very serious. It is very serious. You can commit sins. We are all human beings. But leaving the prayers, this is not <coughs> sin. It's not a fault. It's not a mistake. It's a disbelief. For men, there is more tough obligation. <coughs> that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Holy Quran, وَارْكَعُوا مَعَ الرَّاكِعِينَ Sheikh Sharif. Please. <coughs> low it, low it, please. Take the arrow down, the arrow. Yes, more. Yes. the 